What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today is an update on the Giant Pothos. Let's check it out. All right, so this is another update on the Giant Pothos. Um, we'll start from the very beginning as a refresher, but we'll go through it quickly. I got a Giant Pothos cutting node from a friend who lives in Florida. It blew out of a tree and he cut me up a piece and sent it to me. It was very kind of him. His Instagram is in the description. I got really lucky with this one because by the time it got to me, it already had new growth starting, so that was already a good sign. You can see how large this node cutting is compared to just a regular pothos node. I threw mine in a propagation bin with some sphagnum moss and other plants and it started to grow and root quite nicely. Once it had a few leaves starting, I took it out of the prop box and I potted it up in just some regular more aeroid style mix. I think this one honestly is mostly just peat and perlite. It's a cheap way to grow aeroids, but anyways, I potted it up. You can see that the leaves are already the size of my hand at this point, and I think that was only the third or second leaf. Lucky for me, it kept continuing to get bigger. This one doesn't look bigger as a new leaf, but it still hasn't even begun to harden off, and it ends up being quite a bit bigger. At about the nine month mark, you can see it really did take off. There are some much bigger leaves that are probably around 8 inches, maybe a little more, and there's a new leaf on the way. I've been using a moss pull, but I don't know how much I can actually attribute the growth to that. But anyways, let's keep moving forward. Shortly after that 9 month period, I bet you this is only like maybe 10 months max. You can see the one leaf that was growing had gotten bigger, hardened off, and it's pretty big. Almost probably around 10 inches. I didn't start officially measuring yet, but it's my guesstimation. But overall doing well and continuing to put out larger and larger leaves. Fast forward a little bit more, maybe another month, maybe a little less. But you can see it is really filling out now. We have lost some of the original leaves, but they paled in comparison to the size of these new ones. Some of these are around 15 inches and about 9 inches wide, which is crazy in my opinion. I really didn't expect this to get bigger and bigger every time. I kind of was thinking it would start to slow down because it doesn't have the same environment as it did in Florida, but it keeps proving me wrong time and time again and just keeps getting bigger. It does have a pretty tight internodal length, which is nice. It's staying pretty compact. It's not vining wildly, and I think that's because it feels pretty supported on this moss pole. I don't really like this one that much because I have it filled with like dirt and stuff, not really sphagnum moss. Eventually, I want to replace this with like a piece of wood or something to really simulate that tree a little better, but for now, it seems to be working. The overall structure of these leaves really amazes me. They have such thick ribs at this point just to support the massive leaves, and I just really love their look. They're very thick, very waxy, and just a fantastic, beautiful leaf. Skipping forward to present day, and I think that puts us a little bit over a year since I first got that node, maybe a little longer, I'm not 100% sure, but it is absolutely massive and breathtaking in my opinion. The newest leaves on this one that are at present day are just absolutely insane. They are just getting bigger and bigger, and I'm so amazed by the progress that this plant has made. These are pushing over 15 inches long at this point, and over 10 inches wide, and I just love it. I have a pretty cool collection of plants, but this one is by far in the top 10, if not top 5 of the plants I own. Even though it's just a boring green plant, I love its progress, its growth, and its journey. It's been so cool to watch it from just like a stick, well, more like a log, honestly. But from that log all the way up until this, it's been so much fun. Alright, so normally I don't really put myself on camera during this part of the video, but you really have to see how large this plant really is compared to me. This is really the only way I can put this thing into perspective is just showing you how massive it is compared to like my head and body. This plant has become just insane. I mean the size of it, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I'm just blown away by it. So I hope this helps give it some perspective on how big it's actually getting so you really can see it besides just like my hands in the video. So I hope this helps. I hope now that you've seen it compared to my actual body, it really puts it into perspective how big this plant really is. I'm super excited about its progress and I can't wait and I'm hoping that one day we will see these leaves fence straight and it would just be super awesome. Well guys, that pretty much sums up this update. I hope you enjoyed it. This plant is crazy. It is easily one of my favorites now. The leaves just keep getting bigger. I hope you guys stick with me on this journey of the giant pothos and hopefully one day we can get to fenestrations. As always guys, may your plants grow strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.